before we begin today's broadcast, we would like to take a moment to thank our supporters on Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks, whose support helps make live streams like this possible. If you want to become a patron supporter, head over to Patreon.com slash HowdyFolks today. And now, without further ado, let's begin the show. Howdy, folks. How are you all doing? My name is Reese, and as you can tell, I am not back here on the chair. Although, you, as you can also tell, I've got the, the tissues and the blanket over here. So just in case I do need to blow my nose. Uh, because I'm still not 100% back to, um, back up to, uh, back up to snuff. Back up to sniff, more like, if you know what I mean. I am feeling a lot better, and uh, my voice sounds a lot better. So hopefully today we can have a good, solid stream. Got Gilliam in the chat saying, howdy, folks. Chat's not on the screen right now. I, it was so, so, so dumb, it's dumb and it's broken. I need to add chat. We're using a new chat client now. If we go over to the game screen, there's the chat. You can see it right there. We've had a little conversation about Twitch resolutions. I actually learned this recently uh, because sometimes I have the ability to change the resolution and sometimes I don't. Like if you're watching the stream, maybe sometimes you've noticed you can go in and select your preferred resolution. Sometimes you can't. Uh, I always watch the stream locally. I str send it out to Twitch and then bring it back in to watch on, on Chrome, uh, or actually Firefox now, uh, so I can see what you're seeing, and I can hear what you're hearing, and I can just very quickly come over here and hit this button and can see what you're seeing, and I can, I can, you know, get an idea of whether or not everything's working correctly. So the way that it works is if you're a Twitch partner, you always have access to the different resolution options, right? Uh, the way it works is I send whatever resolution I'm streaming at. I do 720p60, and then Twitch will scale it down based on what the viewer selects. If you're a partner, that's always an option. If you're an affiliate or just a random streamer, it's only available if Twitch has a lot of headroom, like processing headroom. So if there's not a lot of people streaming and they've got the uh, the performance to spare, they will they will unlock it for you. And so sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't. Today we don't. So it's it's not going to work out well for for Gilliam, unfortunately. However, it's out of, I could lower the quality of the stream in general, but then that would affect everyone. Everyone would be looking at like a 360 piece. Uh, I'd rather go with 720 and just <clears throat> hope for the best, you know. For those of you wondering, I do stream out at six megabits per second, I believe. Yeah, it's target is six megabits per second. So that's some technical mumbo jumbo. All of that to say that uh, the webcam might not be perfectly centered. It keeps drooping and I have to adjust it, but hopefully it's good. So the last time we played this, uh, I believe. I what? I think these two have something going on. I think that, that Sam, our, our good robot friend, and, and Carol Danvers, the robot uh, computer AI system, might be in a, uh, a relationship of sorts. When will you be a partner? Oh, boy, howdy. I would love to say soon. You know, that would be spectacular. That would make my day. However, uh, where we're at right now, we meet two of the three criteria. So you have to stream at least 12 separate days a week, and we do that. You have to... I can't remember what the other two were. I can check them real fast. One of them was you have to have a month uh, or an average of 75 viewers, uh, and it has to have like, and that has to be like an ongoing average. I've accidentally opened the stream up in two different tabs. That's not what I meant to do. So, you know, we're a ways away from that. You know, we probably average around some nights five, some nights ten viewers. And I think that if I got really aggressive about telling my... Oh, here we go. Okay, where are, the, where are we at? Engagements. Stream summary, maybe? Is that what we're looking for? Achievement. Here we go. Path to partner. Stream for 25 hours in a 30-day period. We're over that one. Stream on 12 different days. We're over that one. Average of 75 viewers in 30 hours streamed. Uh, not so close. Not so close there. But maybe someday, you know, I'd like to believe. I got to start pushing the Twitch streams more often, I think, in the YouTube videos. As well as, you know, if, if COPA, the Child Online Pri Privacy Protection Act, I believe is what COPA stands for, if that goes through in its current form... Uh, by the way, thanks for letting me know about that over on, on the Discord, because I didn't realize the extent of it until I actually sat down, uh, I believe that was Thursday night, and then read through it pretty thoroughly. I was like, oh, 
sweet heavens, this is terrible. This is very bad. At the end of the day, the easiest thing for me would be to just disable monetization on my entire channel. Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Oh, okay, so for those of you who weren't here last time, we'll talk about Copa in a minute. We'll talk about Copa a lot over the next several weeks, probably. Parvati uh, may or may not have a crush on someone, but she has trouble expressing her feelings and talking to people. And in a previous uh, live stream, she told us she doesn't like to drink, but now she wants to go to a bar. But also, I think there might be more to it than that. Uh, she doesn't know how to bar, apparently. I guess I need to tell her. Let's just tell her how to bar. How are you doing? Let's have a chat. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. <clears throat> well, Pravati, I'm glad that you've asked. Was she... Do it proper. Sorry, I forgot that the audio cuts off when I switch screens. I've got to get it back to where the game is in the corner here. I didn't mean to remove that. I was going to say, Pravati, what we're drinking today is some homemade hot chocolate containing some cornstarch and some vanilla and some cocoa and some sugar and some and vanilla and some a little bit of peppermint. Ah, it's delicious and it's nutritious. Good for the bones because it's got whole milk. You're better off just taking a vitamin D pill, but whatever. Uh, Pravati, you're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. You're new to the whole loosening up thing. How about wine? If you really want to get a drink, whiskey is efficient. Uh, I can't perceive that, unfortunately. And I can't back my way. Let's do it later. Sure, Captain. I'm ready when you are. So we need to have a perception of, what was it, 40 in order to, nah, in order to do that option? I kind of want to do that option. I want to get down to the depths of her character. So let's go over to skills. We've only got four perks available, and we're throwing those in dialogue. Wait a minute. Okay, maybe it's not under dialogue then? It's definitely not under leadership, inspiration, determination... Where is Perception located? Is that an actual ability? Persuade, Lie, Intimidate... Do y'all see Perception? It's not one of these, is it? Dodge Block... Are you joking with me right now? Maybe it is part of a different uh, set of abilities? And it was Perception, wasn't it? Oof. Oof. I have no idea here. Hey, Blood Elf, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll come back to this. We'll go back. We'll do a few more quests. Maybe we can level perception later. We do have some skill points available. We have the four. I don't want to invest them in anything. I'm saving them up, so we'll, we'll invest those in something else later. In the meantime, we don't have to do this quest right away because we have an entirely new planet on Monarch that we can go investigate. There's a bunch of side quests we can do there too. So let's head over to Monarch. Apparently it's a spooky planet full of monsters and horrible evil aliens and... Allegedly. That's what we've been told. I've got a sneaking suspicion that maybe, just maybe, we've been lied to and the company is telling people that... Well, look, is that our engines? Oh cool, like the heat is... is warping our, our, our visualizers, but somehow not harming me. Like I imagine that's pretty warm. Oh, uh, Sam! I forgot all about Sam. We took Sam to a bar. Surely they don't serve his kind there. He's, he's not necessarily a drinker, I wouldn't think. I think that the company's trying to keep people off Monarch, and they're spreading all these rumors about how crazy, scary, and dangerous it is. And I reckon it's going to be like a paradise planet or something when we get there. Maybe not. But maybe. You don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out together. After I have some hot chocolate. I also had a bottle of water, because I need to stay hydrated with the medication I'm taking. And I left my bottle of water Welcome in the other room. Do wipe the blood and fence dust from your Don't have time to listen to you right now, Carol Danvers. Don't have time to listen to you totter on. All right, so we've been to Typhon, and I'm pretty sure we did everything we could there. Or no, we went to uh, Skyla? Is that is that where we went to? That's the rock we went to. Then we went to Terra 2, and now we're on our way to Monarch. We went to Monarch before, a few streams ago. So we got the landing pad, which is dangerous, or we can go to the Stellar Bay landing pad, which is, I think, what we unlocked previously by doing all of those extra quests on Terra 2. Is Terra 2 where we started? Okay, yeah, that's great. I'm real excited about this. You're, you're real helpful there. Let's head out into the world. Oh, should we take a look at some upgrades? I think we upgraded towards the end of last episode, so I can't imagine we have too much more that we can upgrade. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if they really thought that logo through all that well. Monarch. Terraforming is still a young science for humans, and the results have been unpredictable, particularly with effects on native flora and fauna. Oh yeah, see, Monarch's going to be a fun place. 
monarch. They've been terraforming. They've created. See, that looks like a rock in the background, but it's actually the. You can see the eye and the horns there. Those look like trees. It's actually a giant lizard, like a massive New York City scape sized. It's a face. Yeah, it looks like the face of a, of a giant. Um... Hmm? Something's fishy. I wonder if that's meant to be a pun, or if I did call it and this place isn't all that bad. Although saying that, very quiet. I don't see but three people over there, and I'm starting to agree that, yeah, something is a little bit fishy going on around here. Can take all the stuff in that bin. I don't know what that little emblem was that came up there when I emptied that. Was that a sign that I'm, I'm being marked for having stolen property? They're not going to like me for it? Stop! You violated the law! <laughs> no! No! Oh, we don't have to accept it. Okay, your legs have been damaged too many times, and your movement speed has now been permanently lowered. So, we're unable to dodge, and our movement speed is down 30%, but we are, uh, we get a perk point. I'm gonna reject that, and say no, I don't want that. Also, are you going to bed, Gilliam? Okay, good night, good friend. Or was that like a, a, a good ness? As in, I can't believe you just threw yourself off of that second floor and broke your legs. Goodness me. Uh, who are you? Nyoka? Uh, maybe I'm supposed to talk to you. I don't know. Little bastard slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place. Trying to crawl away. I like how there's just this ring of blood around the screen because I'm almost dead. I'm just keep listening. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and... Dig it out. Whoa, beg pardon? If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Wait, what medallion? Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? I'm Jenna Dorbs. Uh, pleased to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Ah... I guess I guess they run the place. Um, I'll stay in chat, but you look like you've had enough. I'm told you can get me an information broker. That's the one. Let's get right to business. Well, well, well. well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats. Let's let's talk business. I'm into it. Let's do I'm it. Headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Sure, yeah, you know what? Quests give XP and XP gives perks. So everyone suggested to me I will accept. I'm I'm not here to question things. I'm not here to question what is effectively free XP. I think we have some of those, don't we? I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Yeah. Text me one and we'll be all set. Okay, look, we do have medical 25, so we can just say you mean caffeinoid. That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Sure, I'm... You won't find a better deal in Halcyon than our special one-time offer for a refurbished sanitation unit. Remember, if it's dirty, it's a job for Sam. What in the... That thing talks? <laughs> of course it does. Anyway, I'll, I'll consider your request. Um, oh, wait, no. Do we actually have to, like, agree? Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. I mean, it uh, immediately... Yeah, I'll catch you later. Okay. Uh, what is the quest prompt at this point? Surely we just got to give it to them, right? Because don't we have some with us? Uh, broker, Monarch, Big Game Hunter... Stellar Bay, look there. I'm I'm sorry. That's that's literally what I'm trying to do. But the game's not giving me sort of uh, any options. Have I backed myself into some sort of a corner here? Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. Oh dear. Um. Uh. I, d toggle history. Can I go back? <laughs> I think we've worked ourselves into a corner. Okay, let's just go see if we have some of that stuff that she wants. So it would be in our inventory, presumably, if we had some. Would it be under medication? Let's see, you got some spacers hoist. Ah, oh, dehydrated water. Water without the hydrogen or oxygen. Sugary drinks. Body attribute plus one. Last 30 seconds. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
I don't even know what it'll look like. Would it look like a cup of coffee? I don't want to go through here and read each one of these at a time. Stimulotion? Stimulates through stimulation. Oh, okay. Well, I hesitate to think what that was invented for. Man, yeah, so I'm almost positive we had some of that caffeine stuff. But okay, we'll ask around and see if we can find some. Bartender. Well, well. It's not often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Thank you. I need Enjoy. some some medical stimulant for my friend here. Stories. You might could use a few. Yeah, possibly. I could use a few and tell it on myself. Hey. Now what can I do for you? Trade, how do you know faces? Why is it called the Yacht Club? Let's trade. Maybe he has some. Maybe we can just straight up buy it off of him. Was that asking for too much? Yeah, it doesn't look like he's got what we uh what we're looking for here. Ah, uh, we're just right back to medicated drinks. Okay. Folks, we've reached a dead end at this point. I've just got to go find a drug dealer. Should we take a look at the map and see if... I keep saying drug dealer. It's just a stimulant. It's just a little bit of caffeine in, in some sort of like a, a jar or some sort of a, a shot or something. The Yacht Club vendor. And then it looks like we've got vending machines right over here. Uh, if I can understand the map properly. They were, they were, they were right over here. Right, there's the bar. Here's the vending. Oh, right there, right here where I fell out of the sky. So we got some Rizzo's, and we've got some Taste of the Freedom via Spacer's Choice. Yeah, coffee and a bit of heroin. Well, I mean, that's how some people like their coffee. So we got some Purpleberry Lunch Punch Vodka Ammo. Ammo. Some clothes. Like, there's certain things I can look at and tell you immediately. It's not what we're here for. I do like that they have their little tunes, you know? That's great. Tell me if you see anything that, here that mentions caffeine as I slowly go through the list. Irish coffee is the best. Never had an Irish coffee. I've had the, um, oh, what is it called? The Monster Energy Coffee. Uh, what, do they, what do they call it? It's called Irish something. Hold on, let me check. I can Google this. This will be easy. I Irish Monster. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, that's going to break. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just a, a leprechaun. Irish blend. Is that all it's called? It's just called Irish blend? Okay, yeah. The Mo Java Monster Irish blend is probably my favorite Java Monster. And I like good Java Monster. It's some good stuff. Apparently, the stimulant's not available at your normal... Uh, well, hold on a minute. Auntie Cleo. We haven't checked Auntie Cleo yet. She might have what we need. We got some catch up. Uh, a bag of tobaccorn ears. Uh, antibiotics cream? I don't want auntie's cream, thank you. No, okay, none of that's particularly useful either. Where am I supposed to find her some stimulant? This guy. This guy looks like he knows what's up. Watch your step if you venture outside the wall. Okay, this guy does not know what's up. What about these people? We gotta find someone who's not just called a resident. You know what I mean? You. Wildlife Emporium. Zoo types, they love their caffeine. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. No. What can I get you? I'd love to trade with if you. If you don't see it, I don't got it. Don't go asking for the special reserve. Do you have a special reserve? Everyone in this town sells the same things. Adreno. That's not helpful. I need the ca the ca the caffy stuff. They love the animals. Yeah, yeah, they do, and they they gotta stay uh, gotta stay energized to deal with them. Can you pay in stimulants? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. You look pretty old. Is your little boy like 17 years old? He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Okay, tell me what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? Hey, Blood Elf, if you have an Xbox or PC, it's available right now on the Xbox. Oh, what is it called? Game Pass. Yeah, it's on Game Pass, and I don't know how much Game Pass is. I think it's like 15 bucks, maybe? 10 bucks? So, if you don't plan on playing it long term, it sure beats buying the game, you know, full price. It's, it's certainly an option. I'm pretty sure it's on Game Pass on PC, too. Which is a pretty good deal. I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. I like that she basically admits it is a fetch quest. It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. Okay. 
And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Okay, Agnes. Okay, calm down. Well, at least we've got something to do now besides just stand around and, you know, wait to give her medication. A uh, side quest. A family matter. Tucker Needham. Let's head out and let's go do that. Apparently, the outside the walls is the dangerous. We're gonna find out. Terror on Monarch with Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen. She's kind of good looking. Hello there, you. Hey, tall, blonde, and armed. Wouldn't mind uh, wrestling your monster to the ground. Uh, you don't have Game Pass and you don't play on your Xbox. Well, you have an Xbox, though. And you could get Game Pass. I'm just throwing out their ideas. I'm not saying this is something you should do or you have to do. Uh, I'm just I'm just putting out ideas. Otherwise, yeah, definitely buy the game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed it so far. I hope you're not getting too spoiled on it. I imagine it's a lot more fun to play than watch me struggle with. Uh, so I'm sure you'll still get some enjoyment out of it, even if you uh, you watch the whole series. Smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the cannon. That's an interesting take. It's a very interesting take there, Pavati. Thank you. Is he actually... Is he actually spraying? No, he's not spraying aerosol spray. I didn't think so. He doesn't have any anymore. Do we want to deal with the raptids? Can we deal with the raptids from the safety of uh, of this thing? Like, can we hop up here somehow? I need to check and find out if we can get some upgrades to our jump. So that I can, like, hop up here and be safe from attacks from raptids. Oh. These raptids are a bit stronger than the ones we fought previously. But, uh, good news, they cannot jump. It looks like... Is that is that Sam spraying acid? Who's spraying acid? Who got acid on me? Someone's getting acid on me. Sam, is that you? Is that a mauler? Hello? He's dead. Someone is getting acid all over my body and they need to stop. Okay, please. For Pete's sake. Ah, here we go. It doesn't look like it's damaging me. I'm assuming it's Sam's acid. Oh, this thing is next to impossible to control. Yeah, we're fine. Thank you there, pal. Thank you. Now, that's what I call a, uh... A combat scenario done right. That's all you got to do to win in the game. Only uh, fight enemies that are uh, physical assaults. You know, that are they're close range. They don't have any sort of projectile weapons. And uh, stand on top of boxes. That's the secret right there. There are more of them. I don't know if we need to fight everything we come across. I, I think we get XP for killing things. One would imagine that's how most games like this uh, uh, work. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we're safe. Oh gosh. That one's glowing green and he's got friends back there. But we know the rules, don't we? We know the rules, and so do I. We just gotta jump up on top of something, and we'll basically be invincible. Unless Sam starts spraying me with acid again. Alright. Yes, enter quiet mode, Sam. It's a good time for you to do that. Oh my gosh, I told you it would spit acid at me. Alright, there's that problem dealt with. Where's the other one? Come here, you. I am taking damage. I don't know if he's just able to reach me, or if there's another one spewing acid. See what I mean? There's definitely acid coming from someplace. It's probably just Sam, though. Good job, Sam. I definitely saw another one out there. I think this is going to be a similar situation to that monkey that snuck up on us. Hey, Halrondo! Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Also, I saw up there a second ago. Blood Elf said, I live for the streams. Okay, good. Hey, live by the streams, die by the streams. You know what I mean? Actually, that's, that's a terrible rule of law. If I stop streaming, don't just up and die. You know, it's easy to find... Oh, found some more Adreno. Can't find any coffee stimulant though it's very easy to find other things to live for you know find a cause find find a belief system find find anything other than the live stream schedule because it is notoriously inconsistent all right we got some shrek me sideways no oh, i see them yeah i see them yeah thanks for the warning there pravati actually no genuinely though thank you for the warning like that was actually something useful that you've done i saw some people down there though people are a bit more difficult to deal with you can't just stand on top of boxes and be invincible. Are there more? You were spraying something with acid over here. Oh, hi there, you. Do you think they get the acid from drinking out of these acid pits? Good news, customer. All germs and contaminants have been neutralized. I do like the fact that, you know, he still thinks he's being used as a sanitation robot. And he views the aliens that he slaughters as, uh, like, parasites and whatnot. That's fantastic. I love that from our good friend Sam here. Uh, it, it gets a little annoying when he constantly talks about that. But, you know, I like a little bit of dialogue from my companions. It makes me feel not so lonely. 
Reese is almost out of ammo. No, no, no. Look, that's that's not going to happen, I assure you. We've stockpiled up on ammo. We're going to be totally fine. We're going to do a save here, and then we're going to switch over to a different weapon because we're about to fight people, and that's going to be a little bit more complicated. Did he see me? Is that why he ran over there? Is he getting into position? He's looking at me. I, I can't tell. I can't tell from here. Oh, he shot something. Oh, there's some kind of fight going on over here. There's some kind of hostilities. That or he's just doing some like... Oh, I don't know now. I don't know. Let's switch to our... Do we not have a rifle anymore? Didn't we have like a long-range rifle? That we could blow this guy's head off with? I feel like we did at one point. And it's probably still in our inventory. We just gotta find it. That's the ticket right there. So let's get rid of this pistol. Because why do we have that equipped anyway? Uh, it's probably because we ran out of ammo in the hunting rifle. Uh, switching to the hunting rifle. Yeah, we got quite a bit of ammo. Shrek me. I didn't even hit him. Why can I not hit him? Oh my gosh. That was our chance. Now Pravati's giving away our position. Pravati, come back! Any kind of fool could see! Maybe they're too far away. I just remembered that was a problem last time. This thing does have a distance at which you can shoot. See, these guys are close enough now. I like how he's not getting any closer. That's convenient for me. It's a bit weird that he's not going after Pravati or Sam. That he is very slowly making his way over here. With his very large gun. His gun is quite a bit larger than mine. And my cover is about to be useless. Uh... Sam! 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 Do something! Oh. Good gosh, Sam. What did you do? Did you, did you poison him? Oh, it sounded like he had a really painful death. Shrek me sideways. Effective, though. I'll give you that. Good job, Sam. Good job. Again, I don't, I don't think we need to be stopping at every, uh, every, every area along the way to kill everything that moves. But you never know. One of them might have some, some legal caffeinated stimulants, which we need for the main quest line and have not been told where to acquire them. Okay, I think I've worked out what happened. This guy was killed by this thing. And then that guy earlier who was just shooting randomly over here saying, I gotcha, must have been after him as well. All right, we'll continue along the road. Is there, have, have we determined whether or not there's any level of persistence in death? I know we've had some marauders respawn a few times, but like if we kill them along this road here, are we making the road a safer place for the common soldier or for the common traveler? I would like to think so. Whether or not it's true, I don't know. All right, you. Let's just move along. Let's not stop. Because we're burning through a lot of ammo and we're not restocking a lot. I think we need to focus on killing uh, human enemies if possible. Is this, uh, is this a friendly kind of town? Uh, that looks like a, a big bad boy. That looks like an alpha. Just judging by the name, Candid Alpha. And I'm going to say we don't need to fight that. I'm going to say we can just go right around that. You know, I've, I've tried to fight everything else that we've come across. We did find the Bayside Terrace Ruins, though. So if we ever want to come explore the Bayside Terrace Ruins, or we have a quest for it, we know where it is. Let's stop goofing around. Let's beeline for the quest objective. Let's go rescue this kid and uh, bring him back to his mom. Hal Rondo. I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts. I've been playing, like, a lot of Kingdom Hearts. In fact, when I'm done with this, I've got to go create a thumbnail for tomorrow's Tekkit video. And then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play some more Kingdom Hearts. Because, my gosh, I am absolutely loving it. I know you said you were a bit hesitant to restore. You were, like, worried about re returning to the first game. But I gotta say, I've got no regrets on it. It's been just a delight to play through again. I can't wait to get to two, because I'm planning on playing two again after one. And I can't wait to jump up on the Hydra's back. Really looking forward to it. Lots of memes from Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm looking forward to going back and uh, experiencing firsthand. So we do have, like, a camp here that is entirely empty. Presumably people live or lived here. Uh, this looks like food? Yeah? Well, it looks like dead animals that will be food after they cook it. Or maybe eat it raw. I don't know. Looks like camp was abandoned. Now, you tell me why someone would abandon a camp. And it looks like they left in a hurry. It doesn't look like there was a fight or anything like that. Because I don't see, like, bloodshed or dead bodies. It just looks like people were living here. And then suddenly the people went away. And they didn't leave anyone to keep an eye on all their possessions. Which means they are either very brave... Or very dumb. I, in either case, we should be concerned. Because brave people do dumb things, and dumb people do dumb things. 
and I, I, I'm concerned about dealing with both. We're going into Amber Heights now. Hopefully this is a friendly faction. Hopefully we never have to deal with a Raptodon head anatomy. Oh no, we have fought Raptodons. This, this screen here, it makes it look like it's some sort of a sea creature and I don't go into the ocean. You know how I feel about sharks in video games. Not here for it. There we go. Clear all this off. I was eating some chips in here earlier for dinner because that's where I am in my life. All right, so that doesn't immediately turn red, meaning they're at least. Oh, hi there! And welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. Oh, it's a cult. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Yeah, one would assume, Rose. One oh, would assume. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Like, just tell me who you are. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. Okay, well, I can support no that. No shackles, no problems. Uh, what about Raptodons and Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. One big happy family, huh? I'm just looking for work. Got it. Hey, before I leave, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you the seen him? Boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Yeah, well, good for Tucker. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. What, back here? Define up the hill, because that looks like it's up a hill to me. Seems like a nice little And this... Except for all the dead critters. Yeah. Hush, Sam, I'm trying to listen to a conversation. Sweet blood. So? You gotta boil it or you'll get sick. And then all that sweetness takes to the air anyhow. Nah, don't boil it. We're gonna get sick all the time. Are they talking about drinking blood? Better than tasting sulfur and dirt every damn day. I'm, 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 okay, we're getting Tucker out of here. Tucker, are you a grown adult? Yeah, Tucker's a grown adult. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I can't tell this grown adult to go back to his mother. Uh, I'm Captain Jenna Dorbs. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. Sure. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Um, we'll ask this one. I'm not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger and asked me to rescue you. Or she offered a reward to anyone who brings back, brings you back to Stellar Bay. Let me guess. You're here to collect it. Well, I can tell you right now, it is not going to happen. I won't go back. My entire life, she locked me in Stellar Bay because she was afraid. Hmm. Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. <laughs> fall in a sulfur pool. So I shouldn't I have laughed at that. way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Okay, let's persuade. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? So no matter what, I can only leave the conversation. You survived outside the Stellar Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned, or teach her... The iconalist's philosophies convert her so she might join you in freedom. You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't. It's just a land shark. Yeah, I don't like that either. Can. Good on you, Tucker. Look at us. We got ourselves a big fat upgrade. This looks like the boss's place. What's up, Ash? This is exactly the kind of place we need to go. We need to go find the man in charge. And have a chat with him and see what uh, quests he has available. You're not. You're not the guy in charge. Looks like I can steal this stuff, but it's all glowing red, which I assume means that we're gonna have some sort of negative consequences for taking it. Presumably, they're gonna like run us out of town. Does anyone in here look like they just ring of in chargeness? Yeah, same thing back here. But how would they know I stole this stuff if they didn't watch me do it? I don't want to find out. At least not right now. These are all just look like. 
Agitator Ash. Ash, catch him. What's up? Never seen you before. You say that like it's a problem. Not for me. Maybe for you. Come out here looking for some better life, kid. Um. Just passing through. Get on you. Make a little money. Move on. Don't get killed out there, kid. You better believe I'm I won't. This moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Oh, this is gonna be a sad story, isn't it? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar. I drink. I mind my own business. That's it. Uh, so yeah, that one. Whoever said that must have been lying. Or maybe they was drunk. I don't know nothing. A dozen better folk couldn't tell you. I just chose that option for uh, XP. Drinks. I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. Uh, heartbreak. What happened to you? Let's buy him a drink. I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? Um, I've got no idea. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high, the peaks are in space. It's hot, it's high, and there's no air. Or not much. Nice views, though. The funny thing is, then in the middle there's just smooth rock. Circular like. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair fine cracks all over. Hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment, put my ear to the ground. And I wonder now if I imagined it. Trick of the air. The heat. It was at the edge of hearing. Deep down. Far off. Irregular. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Ooh. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. Uh. What's it mean? Hell if I know. When there's a ground quake now, I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity or wings getting stretched. Ooh. Ah. <sighs> What happened to you here? A great many things. This guy's fascinating. The stream might just be us talking to him. Might be a job in it for you. Mm. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Okay. Was it a long time ago? Oh, sure. I was with him when the corpse were leaving Monarch. The corpse. Hell of a time, that. Does he mean core? We split ways around the time this twice says corpse. got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Sure thing. Appreciate it, kid. I'll mark an outpost on your map. We spent a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Ah! Uh Here's a key for the door. This, this is, this is, you know, this is an interesting person that they've put in this game. That was actually interesting to talk to, who had an interesting story. Told us there's a giant bird living inside of the, inside of the planet. Don't know how to feel about that one. And now we're on a quest that I'm actually invested in. This is probably the first quest that I'm actually invested in since we started the game. This is, that's some quality content right there. Bethesda, eat your heart out. What have we got here? We got ourselves a terminal? Let's poke around this computer. View work orders. Unsolved work orders. Steam's coming out of the roof. Arcing electricity. Haven't heard from the wrapped house. Dear diary. Ooh, dear diary. Eat it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are going to go tits up around here. Anyone else? As long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear work orders out whenever you can. Okay, then. All right. Let's head to our next objective, I guess. Uh, what is this mark on my map right now? What quest has been randomly selected for us since completing the last one? A family matter? Oh, we got to go back to Agnes. You convinced Tucker to return home to Stellar Bay. Agnes promised a reward to bring her son back. Did he bring Agnes home, or is that just telling me to go back, I guess? Just beat it. 
Beat it! Beat it! Lots of dead creatures to eat it! None of these look like the place where- Oh, actually, this looks a bit like a hospital. How many good folk we gonna lose to our missions? Who? That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep out here. Slow key. That mean we ought to be following her into the jaws of a manticore. You'd rather sit on your thumb and starve? No. All I'm saying is she gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. I'm with them. Let's go find out who they're talking about. Then we'll go do this mission. I want to find out who's running this joint. I'm assuming this looks about like the place where we'd find them, or we'd find a bar. It's just a random agitator and a uh, a rioter. <laughs> What's up okay. with these? Uh, oh. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. No, I'm not here. Yeah, I guess I am here. Inside voices. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconic. <laughs> I've told you out of pamphlets. What a shame. Uh, this is Amber Heights. I expected more altars or incense or both. Now let's go with this one. Ah, uh, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I have found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Mm, now, preach. Why have you come? I'm just looking for ways to help people here. Anything need doing? Want to know more about your teachings? Tell me about... Uh, let's do this one. A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. I'm guessing you need it cleared out? Indeed. But first, we need the parts I ordered. Will you aid us in our cause? Yeah, sure. Why Wonderful. not? He looks dodgy? I mean, he looks like a cult leader is what he looks like. So that'll be fun. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait. Where is Huxley? That's the question of the day. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Um, okay, where are the supplies? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Okay, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. <coughs> I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Okay, well, there we go. We've unlocked ourselves some additional quest lines yet again. I do wonder, though, if we ought not return to Agnes and see if her son came over to convert her to the ways of uh, this cult or whether or not she's locked him back up in their house. Because I kind of imagine that being how this happens. Like, this is a, one of those crazy 1970s-slash-80s horror movie moms who keeps her like adult son locked up in the basement because he keeps trying to run away and join a cult, which so far seems pretty normal as far as cults go. I gotta say, I don't have too many issues with this one. This guy seems pretty reasonable. He just wants to uh, pirate uh, cereals from magazines. I don't see uh, the big deal about that. What well, I mean, what well, it's not like copying the magazine is going to mean someone else doesn't have that magazine. It just means that there's one additional version of that magazine out there. What's the big deal? There, there. I mean, it's not like any of the people who are getting that uh, that copied magazine would go out and buy the the actual magazine in the first place. So. I don't know. Let's just move on. Let's let's move on. Let's head back to the village. We're just gonna like low key bypass all of those guys because I don't want to fight any marauders today. Also, we didn't verify whether or not they were marauders. For all we know, they could have very well been friends of the cult that we uh, we massacred previously. I'm feeling a little brave though. I'm feeling a little brave. Let's do a save scum and let's try to fight these uh, hideous, ugly monsters here and see how that turns out. Should we go for the alpha first? All right. Here we go. Analysis. 
Wow. I've got to say, I expected more from this encounter. Jeez. We just ripped him to shreds. That was the alpha. We killed the... I'm the alpha now. Unfortunately, I killed the entire pack as well. I did the whole alpha thing wrong. Yeah. And we didn't even get anything from it. He didn't drop anything useful. Is this a secret path through the mountain? Oh my gosh, it might very well be. Or a secret path to something at least. What was that? Did I hear that? Was that you, Sam? I heard something that sounded like someone going... You know? That sound? You've all heard it before, I'm sure. What is this? Is this a vault? We found a fallout shelter, everyone. Obsidian showing off their roots. What is this? Bayside Terrace Warehouse. Hi. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. Yeah, that sounds like a real That's thing. My nice way of telling you to saw it off. Uh, what's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet someone here. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Why are you after her? I don't remember who boss. Carlotta is. This is one I of our other side quests, Carlotta I'm sure. Avoided. Uh, look, I need to get inside. Just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Hmm. Let's just kill him. Let's just kill him and everybody else. I was gonna say, like, let's try to persuade him or, or something else, but where's the fun in that? Sometimes you just need to let loose and, and blast everybody, you know? We've all been in that situation. In a video game, I'm talking, of course. Oh! Restricted area. Yeah, thanks for that hot tip. I guessed that based on the guy at the entrance telling me to get lost. Who else is around here? Anybody else around here? When you walk away, you... Oh, gosh, you don't hear me say, please. Oh, baby. Don't go. Simple and clean is the... I don't know why that came to mind. Well, yeah, I do. I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts. That's why. I think I need to lower the sensitivity on this thing, because I keep jerking the, uh, the aim all over the place. Certainly help with, uh, ammo conservation if I landed shots, uh, a few more times. More often than I miss them, at least. That would be a good change of pace. What you doing back there, eh? What you doing back there, sublight thug? You're dying is what's happening. That's what's happening. <laughs> wow, how about that for a successful encounter? Think about all the times I've died trying to do something like that, and this time we aced it. That, my fan, fans, friends, is a sign of modest improvement. I'm not going to say we've made leaps and bounds, but uh, we certainly did better with that encounter than we have many others. Also, Niles is dead now, which means that Frazier is free to be the best son. Finally, after all the- I mean, Frazier was always the best son. Hello? Lots of dead folks out here. I'm guessing there was a tragic accident. No, 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 look. Jenna anyway? Dorbs, Graham sent me to collect supplies. Oh, finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. I don't know what a Sanjar is, but sure. What's up? Thanks for clearing So this is the mission that we literally were just given five minutes ago, and I'd already forgotten Graham about it. And what's it, right? Like, I remembered the quest, but I wasn't paying attention to names and details like that. Take them. Like I said, this is my last run. I'm just gonna take everything you <laughs> Where will they get supplies now? Law, help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. Lulz. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Oh, he's looking for some high-capacity data cartridge. Or, Zora suggested extra food and medicine. Ooh! I say we don't let the people starve. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Good. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. I'll try not to, Carlotta. Thank you for the hot tip. I'm still in a restricted area, and it requires a uh, sublight salvage and shipping ID, but I'm just going to go ahead and take all of their stuff. 
Oh, let's, let's pick this lock real fast. Yeah, right, control armor. I'm starting to wonder if we ought to not just get rid of this stealth armor we're wearing. I know I said that last time, but more and more I'm starting to think that's a riot control helmet. Powered helmet, nothing, nothing. Bypass shunts. Still don't know what those are used for. There's a lot of really useful stuff in here for the taking team. Please, don't hesitate. If you see something that you want, take it. Or don't, you two. Just look at me like I'm the bad guy here. If you want to be helpful, you could possibly try to track down some stimulants. What have we got inside of this particular vendor? What are we looking for? Something coffee related. I, I'm probably going to end up having to Google it before all is said and done. Like, where can I find this stuff? A necklace? That's probably a quest item. Someone's going to request I go find their precious long-lost necklace that... Oh, it was taken by the, the spacers east of here. And it was sealed away inside of their facility, never to be seen again. But if you can retrieve it for me, I'll give you directions to the Cobalt's Cave. You can kill them and take their candles. Cobalts and candles. What have we got here? Uh, warning unauthorized access to this equipment may result in injury, death, or unemployment. Recommended uh, open gas vents. Oh. Look at this. Anyone in the immediate vicinity of this generator and its environmental facing vents may be subject to burns, disfigurement, and an increased risk of cancer. Once the procedure is complete, the vents will need to be closed. Thank you. Did we just, like, what? Did someone just... Sam, calm down. I think we just killed someone. I mean, that was the goal, I assume. Close the vents. To your nearest site security engineer. Continue. Exit. I guess that was like one of the optional ways we could have dealt with all those guys, but someone just screamed in pain. And I think that it may or may not be our fault. Also, in case you were wondering, what the heck? Still no sign of the goods. Thank, thank you? I mean, you've seen me pick locks before. It's nothing new. I do like the praise, though. I do appreciate a little praise here now. I mean, who doesn't? Uh, was this... Was this a person that we killed, or did they just die from gas poisoning? Oh, no, you don't think we killed... I mean, how far did that gas spread? Hello? She's just gone. Did she leave here earlier? And then did she die when we turned on the gas? I don't know where she went after she left here. No, these just look like your basic common thugs. I heard the sounds of a woman dying from gas. That's what I'm concerned about here. I hope we didn't kill that friendly lass. I think we might have accidentally killed that friendly lass with poison gas. That is a rhyme. Killed the, po killed the friendly lass with some poison gas. Okay. Well, let's head back over there and let them know we did the, we did the job. <laughs> what is this current objective? What is it, like, locked me onto now? It keeps selecting things for me. The commuter. Bring the needed parts to Graham and Amber uh, at Amber Heights. Lily hasn't heard from her agent in Stellar Bay recently, so that's another side quest we can do. And then we can go finish A Family Matter, which is a good TV show, by the way. Who doesn't love Urkel? Real funny cat. Great show. Uh, Steve Winslow? What a guy. What, some of the other ones? Names aren't coming to me off the top of my head, but they're out there. You know, this information is available. The internet's a beautiful place. Take all that light ammo. Uh, um, presumably this is someone's house. We're just we're just looting it, as you do when you're in outer space. Uh, oh, sleep? No, don't do that. I don't know why we would. What do we need to sleep for? Are there the benefits to sleeping? Like presumably, yes. Armor parts. Oh, cool. We got armor parts. Maybe we can go upgrade our armor now. Did we struggle to do that last? Oh no, you know what I think we were trying to do? We kept trying to repair the armor, but we'd already repaired it when we repaired everything. Which uh, was not intentional. Is this where we had some guards that we slipped past a few seconds ago? I know it seems like my abilities of retention are non-existent, but that's only because my abilities of retention are non-existent. We're gonna kill all the marauders. We didn't last time, but that was last time, and this is now, and I think there's only the one anyway so oh sam oh, oh gosh no there's more than one. Oh, we got a marauder ringleader over here with some great big armor do you reckon that armor is susceptible to electric shock could make sense might not too but we'll see 
Sam is 100% in the way, though, is the only issue. And he's dead. Is everyone dead? I need to shoot someone. I've got, like, a really highly charged weapon here. That just completely missed. Nice. Yeah, get back into passive mode, my dude. Like, I don't want to complain when he kills everything, because that's what I've got Sam out here for. But it is a bit irritating when I'm trying to test something and Sam just, like, cuts in and does his best boy routine. Like, oh, look at me. I'm the best robot in all of space. I'm gonna kill all the guys before you do. Why do I even need you? Why don't I kill you? And then we can do, like, a little bit of an uprising, and then I can be the captain of the ship, and then, uh... Me and, uh, Carol Danvers, the AI, can just, you know, run off together, and, and Pravati can be, uh, our engineer, and we'll have all kinds of fun adventures without you. <laughs> like, that's just, I imagine, what's going through Sam's mind, and I don't like it. Sam is fishy, and we need to get him under control. Might need to replace some of those murderous, uh, weapons that we've attached to his appendages with cleaning supplies, as that is what he was built to. He's a cleaning robot. You know, he needs to embrace that part of his life. Needs to stop hiding from it. Needs to stop trying to be more. Stop trying to be more than you are. This is a real high school musical situation. He's a cleaning robot. I'm the captain. Pravati's the engineer. That's the order. That's the structure. And what he's trying to do right now is like that time Troy, the basketball player, decided he was going to run off and be in a musical, even though that just... It, it, it's... Shut up, Sham. He's trying to cut in now. He's talking. He's talking over me. I was in the middle of a bit, Sam. Do you wish to assign yourself this designation, engineer? You asking me to be your minder? I suppose you can't be any more complicated than an auto loader. All right, I'll do it. Updating registration. Updating. Updating. Ding. Holcomb Parvati is now responsible for this SAM unit's maintenance. Designated caretaker. There is a rock in this unit's tread. Removal of foreign debris requested. I'm glad that they interrupted my my little conversation there about High School Musical to um to have that little conversation. Very much appreciated. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Just need a little bit of hot chocolate after that. My two AI companions are taking over the stream. They're doing more talking than I am. I got your rollers. The rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Uh, Sandra's made it illegal to sell to you guys. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Cassandra, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. I mean, I'm pretty sure he about just to. did. That idiot just declared war. I, we, will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Mm-hmm. Okay, so time to fix the printing press then? The print... Oh, no. Graham, you did it. <gasps> That's where the missing people went. Scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Oys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. And now they're dead. Is the printing press really worth all these people's lives? There's got to be a better way to get your message out. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Uh... He could have sent them after backing Zora up, right? Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. There's some real tension. There's some real drama in this place. If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, 
I have a feeling we'll need them. Cool. All right. We've got our next uh, retrieve Zora's team and repair the printing press. Yeah, I think we're going to worry about the team first, assuming they're still alive. We need to figure out where this is going to be, though, and whether or not this is on the way to letting that, that dude's mom know what's going on. Because I'm still real invested in that side quest, and I'm curious to find out whether or not uh, how that's going to turn out. I need to find that information. <coughs> all right let's take a look at our map here no nope, let's take a look at our map and that's taking us to the map takes a while to load into i don't know why over here and i believe this is town up here so we could fast travel back up here to the town uh back at stellar bay we can turn in that quest, because this over here is the terrace where, yeah, well, and then from there we can travel across and continue the quest. All right, let's do that. We'll fast travel here. We don't fast travel a lot. We tend to do a lot of walking. The, the, the world, the, the worlds that you land on, the areas you land in, aren't all that big. So you can certainly walk across them in a pretty timely manner. But uh, for the sake of the live stream, you know, we've only got a little bit of time left before we're going to call it for the evening. So might as well do a, t a quick time jump. And a fast travel. I don't know if this is like in some games though, where time travels as you fast travel. And whether or not it simulates different events, I don't know. So if we were in like a time sensitive situation, uh, it, it's possible that fast traveling might have affected that. But I don't know. I know some games do that, not all. Like a simulated journey across the land basically. I'm not into that. Just let me, just let me fast travel around. Uh, where was that crazy woman talking about her son? Aha! You did it! My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Uh oh. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. The drama continues. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Sure, yeah. Right. Yeah, look, you mentioned a reward. I did, didn't I? Suppose I can't expect you to just be content at a good deed done. No? Well, all right. Give me what all you got. You're a kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Okay, good luck both of you. Hey, Tucker, if you need me to, I can kill Don't your mom. Worry about me, Captain. Mama and I will work this out. I mean, I can work it out for you if you need me to. My boy says he'll only stay a few days before returning to Amber Heights. Can't you speak to him for me? Sure, yeah. Don't worry about me. <laughs> All right, it just gets a little circular after that. Uh, we're not going to go back and forth there. Again, though, I can make Mama disappear. I can push Mama off a train like in that movie. I've never seen it, but I'm pretty sure that's a movie. What is it called? Is it called Push Mama Off the Train? Larry, an author with a cruel ex-wife, Margaret, teaches a writing workshop where Owen, one of his students, Danny DeVito, oh, is fed up with his domineering mother. When Owen watches a Hitchcock classic that seems to mirror his own life, he decides to put, and then it fades from there. But I'm assuming he pushes his mama off a train, which sounds like fun. It's got Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito's a fun guy. You know, sometimes you just got to jump on the Hydra's back, or so it's been explained to me. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I reckon it always smells pretty bad. That's why no one wants to live here. I'm starting to think that maybe my previous theory, that all of the rumors about this place being horrible, uh, is false. Uh, this place is horrible, and that's why no one wants to live here. Oh, Shrek me. That's a big one. That's a colossus. That's a big guy. Oh, that's a big old blob of poison. Oh, hi there, you. Oh, he jumps real fast, too, don't he? Oh, he's full of neat tricks, ain't he? Oh, no, you need to cut this out now, son. There we go. There we go. You gonna drop anything for that? Oh, good gosh. I'm sorry. No, I don't want your... your no, look, I, at no point do I think these extra perk points are worth it. 
Uh oh. What? Okay, you. Yeah, see, blowing that thing up didn't really help all that much. I mean, we saved a little bit of ammo from it. Again, we need to stop wasting ammo on these guys, though. They don't. It's not like they drop it. We're just getting wrapped on meat. What did we determine that did? Like, a couple of temporary stat improvements and we can sell it on the market? It's a waste of ammo. Look how much ammo I've got left. That was an awful decision. I suppose we didn't have a choice there. We were jumped by them. All they could have done was run away very quickly, which maybe I should have... Mm, Shrek me. See, we're... Oops, the wrong button. We're right back in another situation where this is happening yet again. This time, though, not wasting my good ammo. Oh, it's a little one. The little ones you gotta look out for, man. It's the little ones that get you with the venom. I mean, the big ones spat venom as well, but these guys, they're wily. This guy, I'm not too worried about. He's He's orange. There's nothing out there in the world that's orange and intimidating, except for maybe, like, the sun. But even then, like, the sun's not going to come out of the sky and get me. You know, I'm really only at risk of the sun if I allow myself to, like, go out and into the daylight, you know? Who is it? Who is aciding me? Is it these guys? Oh, gosh, we're all out of ammo. It did happen. Oh, Shrek me sideways. Oh, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Pravati's dead, everybody's dead. Why is Pravati dead? Why is everybody dead? Shrek me sideways! Heal up again, heal up again, heal up again. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we killed him. Oh, look at that. And that's what we call a job well done yet again. Although, once more, we are dangerously, dangerously low on ammo. Who is left alive? Hello? There were some little guys left. I know there was. I didn't kill them all. I'm not that naive. I see one up there in the top of the screen. That's why you have melee weapons? I don't know, I broke them all down previously. I think we can slap somebody with this thing if it comes down to it. There we go. Alright. Maybe I should invest in some melee weapons. Like, go upgrade some? Encumbered. Aw, oh, Shrek me sideways. Uh, what am I supposed to do in this situation? I'm moving slow and I can't carry anymore. We can fast travel, fortunately, when encumbered. So we can go sell some of this crap. Alright. Where am I gonna... Oh, I'm just standing in the poison. No wonder we're taking continuous status effects. Well, fortunately, we can fast travel while encumbered. So let's hop over to our map. We'll travel back to town and we'll find someone to sell all this garbage to if we can. In an ideal world. <clears throat> They're only stronger here. Did I miss all of these conversations? Oh, he looks dodgy. Yeah. Okay, that's the last message I saw. I was worried I might have gotten behind. I'm very sadly running out of hot chocolate, though. I'm going to turn off my hot chocolate cup heater and just... There's like a hot chocolate sludge that is mostly sugar and cocoa at the bottom of that. If you really want to blend the hot chocolate, you got to bring it up to a full boil. And that does something that causes it all to like fuse together. I just got it really hot because I was running behind and I needed to get the stream started. So it was good. Like, don't mistake me. It was very good. But, um... Didn't fuse together, and that's why we got all the different uh, components. Who who wants to buy my garbage? Anyone here want to want to buy, sell, trade? Vending machine, I guess we could technically sell too. We're wrapped mask and painted eyes right here. You sound like a, a person who sells you and look buys. Like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Yeah, well, no. Good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Sure. Yeah, we know Celia. All right. You're buying, but what if I told you that I am selling everything? What have we got that we don't need? Again, I'm real confused on what a lot of these things are and what they do. So I say we just start selling off everything. Hold X to sell junk. Or X to remove from junk. I guess I can sell all of my junk? Is all of this considered junk then? This pocket watch? All, whatever that is? This model spaceship? All of this is considered junk, and I can just hold X to sell all of it? Well, we just did! 
cool, I guess. Uh, assuming all of that was actually junk. What else have we got? Let's sell all the animal meat. I know we determined earlier that this stuff can... A lumpy... Yeah, base health plus 25. Actually, let's not sell that because that's kind of useful. Kind of want to hold on to that one. Munisol. Hey, you don't by chance... Uh, no, he, he doesn't seem to sell anything that I'm looking for. Well, how am I doing on my weight now that I've done that? Let's go ahead and check our inventory here. Not much better. Not much better at all. We need to sell a lot more. We need to find a... Ah, here we go. A workbench. This is good. Use workbench. That's the wrong button, but somehow it worked. It says X to use, but I pressed Y. Oh. Okay, maybe there's just like a sick delay. It is, uh, maybe that's what it is, I don't know. Let's break down. I think it gets rid of the weight if we break some of this stuff down. So what have we got here? Oh, what is this? A plasma carbine. This looks stolen. I think we stole this. Maybe that's why it's it's red and it's got that little symbol on it. I mean, I don't see anything that says that, but it's a possibility. It's also level 13. All right. First off, pistols. We don't need those. Break those down. And we do need a melee weapon. Maybe this pulse hammer or maybe this blade. What is this? Which one does more damage? The blade does more damage. It's a level 16 as well. Break that bad boy down. Both of these plasma carbines seem to be basically the same thing. Why do some of them have red marks? Some of them have... Oh, wait, maybe that's the type of weapon it is then? That's like 240 blob damage. That's 215 regular damage. And that's 134 electrical damage, potentially. I don't really know. Making that up. But uh, let's break down everything else here. What have we got? Sawed off shotgun? Maybe we need to back out of here. And we need to take a moment to audit our inventory here and to determine like what the best various different weapon types are. Okay, so what we got right now is this hunting rifle, which is the same as this hunting rifle. The difference is absolutely nothing. So we can destroy that one. This is an assault rifle, level five. This is a custom one, so we definitely want to hold on to it. Uh, we want to hold on to that heavy machine gun. What are you, sawed off shotgun? We've yet to see those actually be useful. Light assault rifle, how is that different from, from just a regular assault rifle? What do you do? Aside from having, like, substantially less damage. Heavy, stagger, yeah, pretty much the same. Tactical shotgun we've never tried, but I'm willing to say that we're not going to either. Flamethrower! Holy hand grenade, Batman. All right. Oh, hold on. Let's also take a look at our armor. Because we've been wearing the same armor for a while now, and I keep saying we need to change it out. So, let's pick our best determination... Overhauled power helmet. This helmet has been modified in the last Marauder who wore it. It looks sturdy, but it smells. I can't deal with that. Who can deal with that? Heavy melee damage plus five. Eh, we're not really a melee damage type, are we? What else have we got? One-handed melee. Heavy. Heavy. I think we can just scrap all the helmets we're carrying with us. None of them appeal to me. Engineering plus five. Perception negative one. I mean, we don't even know where perception is as a as a level thing that we can upgrade so long guns plus five all right what about shirts i know we upgraded our shirt i say let's not do let's just scrap all of our armor that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go break down and then just scrap all of this stuff i know it seems like ah oh, but what if you want to change your armor type later hey you know what we just got ourselves a whole bunch of carry capacity back let's get rid of everything that's a shotgun and we don't need that light assault rifle or that hunting rifle and uh, shot cannon we'll hold on to. Ah, uh, we'll hold on to the tactical one. We don't need that assault rifle. We'll keep the heavy machine gun. We don't need that assault rifle. Flamethrower, assault rifle, plasma rifle. We already have a plasma rifle. I'm assuming it's no different than that one. So we'll get rid of them. And then we'll keep that shot cannon. What's the difference between these two? 134, 134. Is there a way to sort these better? Name. Value. Oh, here we go. So these are like worth a lot more, I guess, in terms of monetary. So that one is worth what? Where, where's the 50 and this one is worth also 50? We'll scrap that one then. Okay, now we're going to go to repair. And we can repair all equipment. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, 12 armor parts. Sure. Sweet. And then we're going to go to Tinker. And we're going to grab that Sentry Saber MK2. And we're going to make it a little bit better. And then we're going to make it a lot better. Okay, well, you're no longer grade 5 above your own creature character's level to tinker this. So we can't tinker that any further. We've gone as far as we can on it. Maybe we can modify it, though? I mean, what kind of a modifier would you slap on this thing? 
uh, grips, apparently, or, oh, here we go. Okay, this mod makes melee weapon have more inertia without increasing its weight. It's best not to think about that. Definitely. This dense nub attaches to the melee weapon and makes it emit pure plasma. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Let's go with that one. Yeah. Cool. Can I stick this one on there too? New attack mod. Current attack. Okay, so it just swaps out the mods. No, we definitely want to keep Mr. Plasma on there. Okay. Coolio. And then do we have any other mods we can add to this? Well, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We can go back to Tinker, though. Can we possibly Tinker this a little bit further? Our hunting rifle? Potentially. Yeah, we can make our hunting rifle a little bit better. We didn't really do any upgrades to that. And that is the hunting rifle we've got equipped there. I think these are all four of our equipped weapons at the moment. So, I mean, that's pretty cheap to, uh, to modify it a bit. Let's get it up to 100 if we can. Yeah, there we go. And we'll see how that does us when we get out there and we're, uh, we're on the road. Should I steal all their stuff? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say absolutely no to that. And I think we're ready now to head out there into the wilderness. So, actually, let's very... Well, I'm, I mean, yeah, we do need to do a save. But I need to stop hitting that button by mistake. Let's go to our inventory. Take a look at our weapons. And let's go ahead and switch out the hunting rifle for the saber. We'll just have that one equipped and ready to go. And I think it'll probably do a save when we leave town. So I don't think we need to worry about that. We do need to worry about is the fact that I don't have my water and I can feel the back of my throat going dry. And that's going to be detrimental to us. You know, I don't know how much longer I can go with a dry throat. Rizzo, Spectrum. I get it. Oh, it's vodka. I thought it was like Spect Rum, and that was the joke, was that it was rum. Spect Rum. Oh well, what do I know? Alright, so we gotta get over there somehow. Possibly crossing that bridge. I saw that there was a river we had to get across. That must have been the bridge we tried to pass earlier, and we were attacked by horrible, vicious monsters. Well now, we're ready for them. Possibly. We're gonna give it a try. Melee combat has not been our strong suit in the past. Oh, have they respawned already? Oh, they have. Or maybe these are different ones? I don't know. Let's just go give this a shot. Come here, you! Yeah, this is going well so far. Loving loving melee combat. Oh, wait. Did we just one-shot that one? Come here, you. Oh, no. He wasn't dead. He was just standing still. I can't tell. How do you know when they're dead? <laughs> it's real obvious when you're shooting at them. Oh, okay. I think those were different ones. This this is the bridge where we had the fight. The bodies are gone, so maybe some other raptids came along and ate them. Uh, it doesn't look like they've respawned, though. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore? No, probably not. This guy used to live here, though. I can tell you that much. Hey, guys! What up, bro? So, it, did he just take a hit? And then he, like, got staggered? What happened there? I can't... Okay, he's definitely dead. Okay, he's definitely dead now because I can see that we can collect his meat and also his legs are lying down over there. Melee's going well. Maybe we should have done a character that was all melee. Like, everything we had, we invested into melee. Boy, what a different playthrough that would have been. That could be fun. If we ever want to do, like, a second playthrough of this. Which I can easily see doing. Because it's got that sort of Skyrim Fallout quality where it's like, okay, I want to do it again, but I want to make all the other options and build my character in a weird, wacky way. Like, I was thinking of doing another Skyrim playthrough where I'm a, a Khajiit, but I only use claws, right? And I, I only use claws. Maybe a bit of magic here and there to get the dragons out of the sky. You know, you gotta shout at them. You can't intimidate a dragon with, uh, with claws. Maybe you can, I don't know. Hey! How about that? What a time to level up to amid this chaos. Uh, I guess we gotta go this way. I hear more monsters gonna continue down along the road we're trying to get over there though like i don't think we need to be going this way at all unless we have no choice we we'll probably just head over these mountains here i see more monsters though so blood elf this was a good call getting the melee weapon we'll continue to just melee our way through this now that looks like a formidable foe to test my melee weapon against i wish i could tell how much damage i'm doing though i see like 200 maybe is that what's popping up on the screen I mean, we aced that guy. Uh, oh, I mean, we didn't ace him. We X'd him. In terms of letters to use there, acing is probably not the best term. Sounds like we healed him real good if you say that. Or you could say we aced that encounter, maybe? 
Like, I don't keep up with the youth and their lingo. I don't know what the, uh, the Gen Z is talking about. These Zoomers, as I like to call them. I don't know what they're going on about. Ooh, Rip, he's just, like, disintegrating. He's spewing sparks out of his face. Things have gone real wrong for him. Come here, you! <laughs> oh, Shrek me. Yeah. It's good if they don't, like, shoot back, right? Like, I think if we tried to rush some marauders like this, we'd die real hard real fast. Although, we might have an opportunity to test that. Oh, no, look, these are- oh, this must be the- these are the Van Noys. We only got so many bullets left, and I ain't keen on using one on you. Okay, we gotta get you out safe. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. And then we're gonna go in and get the printing press. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out, and Jensen can't see straight. I'm sure Jensen's always had that problem. Kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Uh, when do you go? On account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Okay. We'll go take a look for him. To the north of the pro- oh, oh, so like, the direction we were heading in earlier, I guess? This settlement over here? Presumably is where he might be? You don't think he was that Van Noy that we found dead? Like, right as soon as we got to the bridge, do you? Because there's a dead guy right here. Mm, oh, no, I'm sorry, that's an iconoclast. Which is a cult member, yes. But not a Van Noy. Very different thing. Also, surely these guys would be dead. We just came... Uh, you know what? They must have respawned for quest reasons. Gotta fight our way through these guys so we can find their, uh... Their old pal's corpse. Yeah, everyone's fine. See if you can find a, a dead cult member soldier. Presumably, maybe being feasted on by these guys? Oh. He might have gone into one of the buildings, I suppose. Held up in here, maybe? Have we been in here before? This place looks familiar, but no, because we haven't stolen that jewel ring. Maybe it's just like a copy-paste job. I don't want to call anybody out in game development, but uh, we've been in this exact building before someplace else. <laughs> like, uh, right down to the fridge. You know what? I'm sure that that's a Spacer's Choice thing. They must mass fab these. I am saving ammo, Blood Elf. You are correct. You are absolutely correct. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to just give them the benefit of the doubt and say that uh, these buildings are manufactured in mass by Spacer's Choice. And that's what's going on here. <coughs> <coughs> it's not just semi-lazy game design at all. That's definitely not it. Sealed. Dang it. Oh. Oh, that's just Sam walking around. Every time I hear Sam walking around, I'm like, is that a... Is that someone knocking on something? Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, unneeded, left to settle into ruin. Yeah. We're trying to find a person right now, Pravati, so if you could keep your perverse, depressive, meandering thoughts to yourself, that would be great. Sam, Sam you're getting on my nerves. I'm sick of hearing from you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, it burns. Didn't realize the acid was burning there. Thanks for the hot tip, Pravati. I shouldn't complain. She's in a great deal of pain. I can completely understand it. Look at this guy. You don't even care. We're just killing his kinfolk right behind him, and he can't even be bothered to look. I don't know if we're going to find this guy. Can we just come back with a few healing supplies and call it a day? Like, are they going to they gonna be okay with that? Or is it actually one of those situations where they, they do want to know where their medic is? Stellar Bay. Well, we're just back. We're back to Stellar Bay. We've made the circle. All right. Evicted. I'm guessing we can't get into these places if it says that. These were the ruins they were talking about, correct? Or were they talking about those up- Oh, Shrek me sideways. There was a mark on the medic for the screen the whole time. Wait. You know what? No, we're gonna go with that. See, I just assumed they said to the- no These guys are just respawning instantaneously. You wander off 20 feet and they're- They're back. So much for persistent gamers. Jeez. No, we're gonna push forward. We're not gonna worry about it. What? Oh, Pravati. We don't have time for this. So when they said to the, to the north, <clears throat> what they meant was to, like, the northwest of our current position. Are these the things that are keeping them held back here? Is this why they can't, like, approach the compound? Because they're dealing with this? I mean, look at- watch- watch me do your job for you in, like, a few sword swipes. Just watch me. 
and hopefully not die, because that would be embarrassing. Very close to dying, though, actually. Very close. Keep spewing that acid, pal. Not you, my robot friends. Sorry, I should have qual- I should have, uh, should have clarified. Where did that come from? Where are you? Where are you, nasties? Here we go. Nice. We cleared the place out. Alright, here we go. Colossus time. Looks like there's a couple of them. They don't stand a chance. We're here to ace this. Okay, now we're here to run away. Gotta heal up a little bit. Gotta heal up a wee bit. Alright, good job, team. Good job, team. Should we take one of those things that increases our, uh, our health temporarily? Maybe that would have been a good call before we got into combat. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm starting to regret all of the decisions that led up to this moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory and see what we got to work with here. What have we got? We got... What, what, what cures me fast? Natural health regeneration that lasts for two, 10 minutes. Um, Or two minutes, I should say. Did we just... Oh, our, wait. What are we doing here? Okay, hold on. The emergency medical inhaler activates all slotted consumables simultaneously, allowing you to quickly treat- Oh! That's how it works! So we can throw Adreno up in there, and then we can throw some, like, apples, and then when we activate one of these, it'll activate the 200% health regen, as well as the 25% health regen over two seconds, as well as, if we wanted to, presumably, this bad boy here, a lumpy slice of fre- I get it now. I freak- I get it now. So now, now we're now we're going in overpowered and ready for war, right? Is that what's happening? Shrek me, there's a lot of them though. Actually, we might not, we not, we, we we might not be ready for war. We might not be that ready for war. Not this war, certainly. Okay. And there's all the ammo in that gun. Uh. Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah, this will have to do. This is our best gun anyway. I'm not about to die and have to reset all of our progress here. Oh, I will not give up! Oh, I will not give up! Now I'm starting to understand why these guys were having so many problems. We're just gonna fall back, by the way. Just gonna do like a tactical retreat. We're gonna follow the rules of uh, live to fight another day, you know? Tactic used by most people who are alive to fight today. Not every not every battle is worth dying in, you know? Sometimes, you're better off just retreating until there's only one left. And then you go cut them with the saber. And there you have it. Well, now, we've uh, used up a lot of healing items. We're going to get all of our raptid on meat, though. Don't even worry about that. We're going to resupply on that stuff. Hey, Pravati. <sighs> baby. Okay, some of them just don't drop things when they die. That was the only issue. Sometimes they glow, they glow blue, like they got something, and then you just can't access them for some reason. Like, and sometimes they glow blue, like they got something, and they just don't have anything. Need to hold on to that raptodon meat. <clears throat> all right, there you go. Uh, we didn't save any ammo on that encounter. In fact, we used all of our heavy and light ammo. But uh, what we did do was we. Oof. I don't suppose that was him, was it? <laughs> One. One hopes not. Ay ay ay. Hello? No oh, medic. Rip. Rippin rippin medic. I am gonna take everything while we're here. I just saw that we got a plasma cutter. Which is potentially the same as the weapon we've got now, but like maybe better. Also, I don't know if there's a way to tell whether or not this is uh losing damage by just looking at it. We might have to open up a menu. Pretty sure it becomes useless once it gets completely worn down and like does minimal damage, so maybe we should keep an eye out for that. Check our weapons here. Oh yeah, it's getting pretty low. What is this bad boy though? Hundred and Eh, it's not as good as the weapon we got now, but look at this thing. Enthusiast kit. Hammersmith. Long gun. What do you do? I'd like to find out. What kind of ammo do you use though? Hold on a minute. You use light? We don't we <laughs> we don't have any. Uh we got a flamethrower. Maybe, maybe I ought to use that flamethrower. We don't have any light ammo. We're all out. Fresh out. Alright, maybe these guys will... I heard the spitting of one of those creatures. 
Maybe I just heard the grass. I don't know. Everything seems pretty chill down here now. Need to get all this rapid down me. Boosts. You made him help boosts. Alright, I'm sorry I made fun of you earlier for not being able to deal with all the Raptodons. Alright, my bad. I found your trauma kit. Your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Sure thing, pal. Sure thing. Now let's go repair the printing press. Uh, I wonder if the inside is going to be full of bad guys, too. Or if the... The mission objective for the printing press is literally just repairing the printing press. That would be good. That'd be nice. It, 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 Twer that it's so simple. We'll find out. In due time. <coughs> Gently massage the back of my neck there. Okay, so the fact that there are dead... Uh, dead animals right inside the door is to me a sign oh and the red marks the red marks in the map i don't see anything oh shrek all right team look we've been through some stuff here today we're not gonna give up now we're gonna pull ourselves together we're gonna run in here we're gonna give these guys what for let me go ahead and get my uh, oh didn't mean to do that Go ahead and get my boosted health. Oh, hold on. What's through here? Oh. Oh. Shh. Shh. I'm hunting for raptodons. I mean, what are the odds we can just, like, slip right through here, though? Not good! 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 Climb, 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 climb! Slipping right through... Bard! Oh no. I've led them all to their deaths. I've led them all to their demises. Ah! They've captured me! They've cornered me! This is not where I die! My memory will live on and on! Children shall whisper tales of me in the dark! They will remember me! They will remember me! They're not gonna remember me, guys. Oh, I hope I had a recent save. Like right when we went through the door, that would be nice. I know our last manual save was a while ago. If it takes me back to that, I'm out. I'm just... <laughs> I'm going, wait, it says, it says Jenna 2 up there, doesn't it? Is that what that says? Does that mean that she wrote this? Are these notes being written by Jenna? It, it says Jenna up at the top there, doesn't it? Wait, what? Okay, yeah, we're heading in. Okay. <laughs> oh. Man, that was a bit of a stressful moment. I think we're going to have to clear this place out next time, though, because I just realized that it's after nine, which means it's after time that we shut things down for the evening. It's been a quieter stream, a much more relaxing stream, peaceful stream, if anything. And I want to give a massive shout out to all the folks watching at home. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Blood Elf, for tuning in. And uh, how Rondo and uh, Gilliam earlier. Of course, Gilliam did have to go to bed. Gilliam was having some trouble with the network as well because of the, the resolution situation. But uh, thank you for tuning in while you did, Gil. We'll be back with this <clears throat> presumably Saturday morning. Uh, schedules Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time and Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. And this this time, I will actually start at 8 a.m. I will actually do it or I won't. But I, I, I my goal is to actually start a live stream at 8 a.m. We'll see where we get. Okay, until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye! Thank you so much for joining us during this live stream. If you enjoyed it, please share it with a friend or loved one. They'll enjoy it as well, and thank you are really cool for watching it. Also, big thanks to our patron supporters. Check out the link in the description, or head to patreon.com slash howdyfolks to find out how you can become a patron or executive producer. Until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and we'll see you later.